Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to multi-stream for free without using Restream to Kick, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, everything all at once using only one instance of OBS. Now, uh, please note though that you do risk uh, forfeiting your Twitch affiliation or partnership if you do multi-stream to YouTube or Kick for example, but uh, with Twitch, you are allowed to stream to Twitter and TikTok at the same time. They are okay with that because they're not big streaming sites. So uh, if you are new and aren't affiliated on Twitch and you're just looking for a platform to be to better uh, stream on, to grow on, then by all means use all of them. Or if you don't really care about losing your Twitch affiliation, whatever, I just thought I would let you know, use at your own risk. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing here uh, that we're going to look at is this is the plugin that you need in OBS that allows you to connect to multiple RTMP servers without opening multiple instances of OBS. So what you'll do is you'll go to download here. This page will open up. It's Asian um, because it was made by an Asian. Um, so this page isn't English. But what you want to do is just scroll down here to Assets, find the OBS Multi-RTMP Windows Installer, and click on that one and download it, and then you should be able to install this. And then when you're in OBS, this is what it looks like on the left here. Uh, you won't have these sources here by default. What you will do is you will add, click Add a New Target, and I'll show you how to grab these servers and keys. So, for example, you would add a new target, call it whatever you want, like my first one there I called kick, um, then you put your RTMP server here, your RTMP key, the username and password you don't usually need to change, um, and this I left all the same. Uh, you can change your encoding settings, but it is easier to just use the same encoding settings you have right from OBS standard. And um, if you want, you can change the audio track here as well. This is for uh, because other sites other than Twitch don't have a VOD track. So to avoid copyright, you can set the audio track here so that say your music doesn't come through that specific stream. And I don't sync start with OBS, but you can if you want to. And then, um, oops, we don't want that. Or I guess I'm just gonna blur the server and key out for the video, but so in here you name, server key, and then everything else is as is, you click OK. And then what you're gonna do when you go live is uh, you're gonna go to, say, the Kick website, go to your uh, creator dashboard, your Twitch creator dashboard, However, whatever you have set, so I have my Twitch through my main account here in OBS. So, um, well, I'm on Restream right now, but because I use Twitch here, I don't need to add a separate uh, target for it. It's just the main one that my OBS goes to. And then what you need to do is go to your, uh, your create, go to your creator dashboard and set your title and stream information, what game you're playing, and then set that in the creator dashboards. And then when you're ready, uh, come here, hit start streaming on OBS, and then you can one by one start each of your other sources. And what I usually do is when I'm done, I will stop these ones all first and then hit stop streaming. So now let's show you how to get the RTMP info for all of these different sites. So for kick, the first thing that you want to do um, in your creator dashboard here is go down to your settings and the stream key, copy this stream URL and this stream key, paste them in your um, new target, and then what you do before you stream, create your dashboard here, edit stream info, set your title, set your category, save it, and then once you close, um, you're good to go, and that is how you broadcast to Kick. Now, for Twitter, this one is a little bit kind of different so they got rid of the creator studio it's not currently accessible but if you go to studio.twitter.com it will take you to this create site and what happened for me was I hit subscribe and I subscribed down here and then about a day later I had access to the Twitter media studio 
And I had it for about a week where I was setting up my streams on there and then I lost access. But in case you have access to the Twitter studio, um, what we're going to do is I'll, I'll show you here how to get your RTMP info. So if you have access to the Twitter media studio, it's gonna look like this page to start. So what you're gonna wanna do before anything is go to your sources up here and then um, you go to create a source. Um, for me, for source name, I just called it live stream. Set it to RTMP and you select the region that is closest to you for the best connection. And then um, once you create it, you will have these options. You'll see the source info. It'll give you an RTMP URL and the stream key. So then what you do is copy that URL and that stream key into your um, into your info here. Mine doesn't work anymore because I lost access to Media Studio, but if you do have it, that will work in there and allow you to stream to Twitter. So what you would do to set your information there is you would go back to the Media Studio. Once you set up your source, you only need to do that once and you're done. But then you go back here, you go to Create Broadcast, and then you put what you want to call it, uh, add a category. Source would be the source that you just created. And then um, you can set it to public, you can set it to schedule, start immediately or start later. I usually just leave it as start later. And then um, you can adjust all your encryption and uh, content restrictions down here. Then what will happen is once you go live, once you set all your info in the Twitter studio and you hit start on here, you can go back to the Twitter media studio and uh, it'll show you your broadcast details in the media studio, but it won't be live on your Twitter until you hit tweet. So then go back to your broadcast studio, hit tweet, and then add your details and that will create a live broadcast post for you on Twitter. And now I'm gonna show you a workaround for Twitter. Uh, if you don't have access to the media studio, you can still stream to Twitter with this workaround. So what I do is uh, for with Restream, on the free account, you can have up to two active sources. So typically what I will do is I set up my Restream account and I connect it to OBS as you can see here. This is what it looks like when you're logged in with Restream. So then, um, if you use Twitter here through Restream, it will allow you to live stream and you don't have to do anything about the post. You just edit your settings, put your title in here, what you want your info to be, save it. And then when you click start streaming, this Twitter will automatically start. So because you get two free channels with Restream, what I do is I keep my Twitch on and my Twitter on and then once those are going, once you hit start streaming, you can go back to your multiple output and start your Twitter and start your kick as well. So then you can still hit your, or not your Twitter, sorry, you can still hit your Twitter and Twitch here, and then you can still hit your kick and YouTube right here. And then that way you're using Restream, but you're still only using the free version just to get Twitter. And so that's just a little workaround uh, in the meantime. Now for Twitch, uh, like I said, I just log into my main Twitch account on OBS so that I don't have to add a Twitch source because that's the mainstream. But if you want to add Twitch as an example, you can go to stream.twitch.tv slash ingests. And these are the RTMP servers that'll be closest to where you are. So you would just copy this um, little bit except for replace stream key with uh, go to your creator dashboard settings and stream and this is your primary stream key which you will copy as your source as well as at the end of your RTMP server here and that's how you can add a twitch source to the extension and then what you would do is if you're loading it that way and you're not um, just doing the info in OBS you can go right to your stream manager again, like here, edit your stream info, set your title, notification, game, and all that. And then once that's all set, you just hit start on add-on. Now for YouTube, what you need to do with YouTube is go to your YouTube studio, go up to the top right here, click create, click go live. 
And then that's going to bring you to your studio here for going live, where you can edit your edit your title, your description, um, set it for streaming software so that it knows you're using OBS. Visibility, no restrictions. You can set your category, your thumbnail, add it to your playlist, deal with all your audience and other YouTube metadata. And there's other customization here for slow mode, live reactions, and who can talk, etc. And then what you do is edit all your info here and save it. Copy this stream key and this uh, RTMP server into your settings here for YouTube. And then once they're in there, you can, uh, like I said, just set your go live info here. And once you have it saved and everything looks good here, you can just hit close this and hit start on OBS. Now for TikTok, uh, not everyone can stream on TikTok as well. Usually you need at least a thousand followers or you need to have a stream key. If you have a stream key, you can manually add it that way. But there's also this other plugin for OBS. So what this does is it's a vertical plugin so that you can stream to TikTok at the same time. I'll share a link for this plugin in the description as well as a video on how to configure it. So what this does is it adds a vertical source and uh, vertical pages for OBS. So then it'll add the box over here and then here's your main window. And you can also add your main window and format it vertically with your camera on top so that this way you can stream to TikTok as well without any separate instance of OBS running. So I will share the video um, with the link to download it as well as this guy's video on how to set it up since I haven't used it personally, but I've heard good things about it. And that's all of for our multi-stream tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have any other topics you'd like me to cover, let me know and I'd be glad to see what we can do. So enjoy. I hope this works for you and have fun multi-streaming.